Good evening. This is Apostle Rasa Solomon. This is Rasa Solomon's uh, YouTube channel. Then we also have Prophetic Life Advice Show, Glory Oil Channel, FitTube, Prophetic Mantle on Facebook, Rasa Solomon on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram under Apostle. No, I'm under Rasa Solomon. My prophetic blog is www.get-2-7.com. Prayer blog is prophetessrosalindsolomon.blogspot.com. You can also go to the middle right on both blogs and see the PayPal if you want to sew, tie, send a seat, or become a partner. You can also go to my cash app, dollar sign, Yahweh Elohim. Um, and, and so there as well. Also have Vimo music videos on YouTube, Rosa Solomon's music channel on YouTube. You might want to go check them out and subscribe to support <laughs> in Yeshua, Jesus' name. Y'all y'all also know I have books on Amazon and Barnes & Nobles. You just put in Apostle Ross Solomon books. Then after that, put in Ross Solomon books. All right. And we give God all the glory for this day. It's almost February. Wow. I noticed the market, the stock market and the cryptos are going down a little bit because of that Jerome Powell meeting. I think it's on the first, right? All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, no financial advice here, just saying. All right, let's just pray for a good outcome. <laughs> you know, I know some people have made some money off, off of this little bull run we have, so that's a blessing for all of you who have any shoes. All right. Now, I have a lot of stuff to tell y'all, but I'm saving most of it for tomorrow. I will be coming on tomorrow on this channel or either Prothetic Life Advice Show channel. Or Facebook, I'm not sure. But just look for me before 11 o'clock on this channel or Prophet Life Advice Show or Facebook. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, um, I fell asleep this afternoon. I think God just made me tired so I could fall asleep because I got a good night's sleep. And I, and, I, and, and I just got, I hadn't even had breakfast yet. I just had like a shake, like an energy shake, right? And um. So I just fell asleep and I saw your shoe is clear as day. He's so beautiful. And he was all he was in all white. He didn't have a chasse around him or anything of it or his talisman around him. He just was an all white, long white, beautiful um attire garment and his pretty hair and his chiseled hair on his face. And he's so beautiful. <laughs> and the place it was in heaven and it was all white. Right, even the coverings around were white, and I saw all these children. I saw a lot of black and brown children. I also saw um, some white children, and I also saw um, a few other nationalities. But I would say, out of all the children, it was maybe sixty to seventy percent of brown and black children, and the rest was like thirty, forty percent white and other children. And all these children, God had took them home. And I saw him with all these children and he he was playing with the children and they were so happy to be with him. And he said, these are the ones that that I'm going to take home. So he was letting me know these children. There's a lot of children out here that's suffering really bad at the hands of adults and aliens. I mean, the Lord told me they have underground places where actual aliens from other uh, planets in our planetarium coming here, torturing these children for, you know, for their adrenaline and their blood and all kinds of stuff. And then you got them on islands and underground railroads and stuff, and, and they're doing all kinds of terrible things to them. You know, then they're trafficking them and um, just all kinds of stuff. And then you have children that are in families that are being raped, abused, almost dead, you know, then you have the children with the satanic ritual abuse. So he's going to be taking some children home. It was a lot of them, you know, and it's a good, it's a good thing and a sad thing because it's a good thing. He's taking them and they're going to be with him, you know, and if they decide to reincarnate, they will. If not, they will stay in heaven and they will grow up in heaven. Right. And um, the sad part is, you know, parents. You know, I mean, if the child is being abused in the home, maybe the other parent doesn't know it, you know, and that could be sad for the loss. Then you have a lot of parents that children are missing. They don't know where they are, you know, and for them to die in this life, that means the parents will never see them again in this life. And they, and they may not never know 
you know, so when I saw that, I prayed and I, I said, I asked y'all to give the parents closure as many as possible to let them know, you know, what happened to the child, let their bodies be found or something about them be found. Or maybe you can visit them in their sleep if they're open to you like that. And you can let them know because there's a lot of parents out here suffering right now from missing children. They have no idea where they are, what happened to them. They're looking for them. You know, marriages have been ruined because of the ch missing children. Families have been slipped up on side down. Other children get neglected because the parents are focusing on trying to find the one that's missing. You know, um, a missing child brings all kinds of things. Some some people kill themselves because their child is missing. Some people die of grief and agony. You know, um, some people never have children again. You know, and then when people and their families find out their child has been abused, it, it, it divorce can come. You know, um, all th all kinds of things that come because the, the little brother could be abusing the sister. I mean, these defiling demons are everywhere and, and so many people, and, you know, this is what the Lord's explained to me. So there's um, quite a few children out here that he's going to be taking home. So don't be surprised if you happen to hear about somebody's child passing. It could be the one that y'all took because I've seen quite a bit of them and it was mostly 60, 70 percent black and brown children. And then the rest were Caucasian and Spanish and other nationalities. And, you know, there there is more black and brown children being taken and then white children. And then after that, you know, a, a lot of the Spanish are being taken because the Lord had told me, and I'm going to tell y'all, he told me to start praying for the children that's coming across the border um, to America and stuff because they're being stolen and trafficked and parents are being so foolish that daddy said to send their children by themselves with phone numbers tattooed on them or in bags thinking a child go grow up and find them. And these are the children that the uh, traffickers are taking because a lot of these these people who, who they're paying to bring them over here are also human traffickers. And they traffic for livers and kidneys and hearts and organs and sexual tra traffic. So the Lord had told me to start praying for the children that come over to the border here and everywhere else, but mostly here because it's happening and we don't hear about it. We do not hear about it. So he said to just pray, you know, and pray for the other children underground and stuff like that. Because he told me all of this stuff, it, you know, he showed me stuff. You know, but I was happy when I saw the children in heaven with him and they were so happy with him and he was playing with them and, and they just loved it. And it was so beautiful. And the part of heaven where they are is just is breathtaking, you know, and he told me if they want to come back, they will come back. If they don't want to come back, they will stay there and they will grow up in heaven. So that's a good thing to know if a child dies, you know, at a, a, as a child and um, they are a teenager and they don't want to come back there's a special part in heaven where they will be and they will grow up. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Heaven is huge. No man can know the depths of heaven, but God himself and the Holy Spirit and Yeshua and the angels <laughs> and all who's already up there. <laughs> all right. So I came to tell y'all that, but still pray for children and parents get closure we pray for children who are being abused in their own household by an uncle, a cousin, an auntie, a stepdaddy, a daddy, a mother. You know, pray that that whoever's doing these things to children and living in houses be exposed. But some of these children that this this is happening to inside of houses, they're going to be taken to. It's not just the tra trafficking children or children that get snatched for rituals, um, body parts, or, or people just, you know, daddy even told me, that there are people out there just snatching children and taking them to their house and locking them up in their house. Like he brought me back to those three ladies they found that was gone for 10 years and they found them locked up in the man house and, and one of them had had a baby by him. The Lord said a lot of that is going on too. They're locking these children up in the house and doing what they want to do to them. And a lot of these children don't even get to see the day of light because they're locked up for years. You That's why you can't find them because they don't bring them out. And if they do, they disguise them. And the child is so afraid to ask for help because they threaten and abuse them. It's just terrible, you know. So I also pray that the abusers, that God can touch their heart. 
and 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 that God could change the abusers and and bring them forward, you know. But if they don't want to, then still bring them forward, expose them, and go on to their soul that harbors that body, you know. So you know, pray over your children, your neighbor's children, your nieces, your nephews, you know, any child, because these children they're in trouble. They say eighty-two million, eight point two million children go missing every year and never found you know also pray for the adults there's a lot of black women getting missing then second latino then third whites right so pray for that and some men are getting missing but not like the women you know so pray that they can be found and if they can't and they're dead at least let their remains be found so their family could get closure you know but god just showed me about the children so um this is all i came to say keep the children in prayer and uh, God bless everybody, and we'll talk tomorrow on one of the lives, okay? And I cover this with the blood of Shaw and the fire of the Holy Spirit, and no one will get attacked, including me, for this prayer, anything to do with us in Yeshua's name. If so, it's canceled, it'll be reversed right back to the person. And thank you that the angels are all around us and protecting us in the hedge of protection and the blood of Yeshua Mashiach. Shalom.